so hello everyone welcome back to bf expected once again so today we will take a look at this newly released megas country european beach pack suddenly i go through their quixel youtube channel and i found this community post by quixel so here this one megas country european beach pack so let's take a look at this tree pack and how this is working with lumen so if you want to download this pack you can simply go to the marketplace and here you can see this is released on 21th february okay this one megas country european beach okay so simply add to your project so let's take a look at this european beach pack so here we are inside of unreal engine 5 and after you adding this pack to your project you will get this folder named as european beach okay so if you go inside here we have a map and just double click on this and you will get all the reference on this pack so let's take a look what we have here this one is our global foliage actor where we can change our wind and color of the trees okay so you can see the smallest grasses are here and here we have the biggest one and here we have the smallest not smallest actually the medium size of tree okay so let's apply this all and create a forest kind of scene and let me show you another folders these are the same like previous megascan tree okay here we have pivot painter and these are the foliages and here are the geometry okay so let's create a new level and let's use this for the first time so go to file new level and i will choose this basic and so let's remove this plane okay that's fine and let's create a landscape simple landscape not more complicated okay hit create okay so let's uh, add some ground material here first so i have already downloaded i will go to megascan surface and here i have the ground material okay so i will simply select the landscape go to detail panel and drag and drop on this landscape material okay so our main topic is our european beach tree pack okay so let's go to our european beach and let's see how are the trees so if i go to this geometry folder and here we have pivot painter let's drag and drop one like this one and just take a look guys this is really amazing really really amazing okay and let's change the camera speed okay you can just look after this roots okay let's add another one this is so huge okay so let's create a forest kind of scene means we will simply use the foliage option so let's remove this both and let's go to foliage and first i will apply this tall trees from here to here okay and let's drag and drop here in foliage type and make sure all the trees are selected from here to here and i will decrease the density like 10 and let's deselect the single instance mode we will use the brush okay and let's increase the size of brush let's apply once this is so much so we will change the scale by uh, 0 0.5 to 2 maximum will be 2 and minimum will be 0 0.5 okay and also i would like to change the density to 1 let's apply now yes this is fine okay so apply everywhere we will make a circle okay so i will let's apply this like this 
ओके यू कैन चेंज द स्केल हियर बाय टाइपिंग द चिप डिफरेंट वैल्यूज नाउ आई विल अप्लाई लाइक वन एंड थ्री ओके सो दैट यू विल गेट द डिफरेंट वेरिएशंस ऑफ ट्रीज ऑल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू इंक्रीज द ब्रश साइज एंड हियर आई वुड लाइक टू अप्लाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज टू मच एक्चुअली सॉरी जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव लेट सी ये दिस इज लुकिंग गुड ओके एंड लेट्स गो डाउन इन साइड आवर फॉरेस्ट आई थिंक वी हैव टू वर्क लिटिल बिट ऑन आवर लाइट सेटअप ओके For that, I will go to my selection mode, and here I will delete this sky dome, and I will select this exponential height fog, and change its location to zero, and fog density will be zero point zero two, and if I go down here, you have volumetric fog. Okay. so yes this is nice we will add more trees here so don't worry so let's add some post processing volume so that exposure will be decreased little bit so select the so select the post processing volume and go to exposure go down here we have minimum and maximum exposure apply minimum one and maximum also one okay after then i will search for infinity and select this infinity extend okay yes this fine so let's apply some more trees here so select this and again we will apply all sorry so this area as covered so let's select other trees okay so now you can see nothing is selected here so i will go to my folder again and now i will select this two three trees variations okay from here to here and drag and drop to our scene okay and i will change the scale size to something like 0.5 to 2 let's see what happening this is too small let's apply 3 and density will be 1 this is fine so let's apply and see how this is looking like this is too much actually i will apply actually i will change this size to 2 and 4 and density will be 0.5 sorry 0.05 and let's apply again Let's change its size again to five and six for different variations. Yes, this is fine. Okay, you can see this is looking absolutely fine. So let's add some more big trees here. So let's deselect this all. and again i will select the largest one like this three so i will change the density by one and let's apply here and now let's change the light direction by pressing control l and yes you can see the quality guys just look at the light passing through the leaves okay this is looking absolutely fine so take a close look at this leaves you can see this is looking absolutely awesome too much realistic so now let's go to our exponential height fog here and let's apply 0.1 and this is okay yes this is fine yeah this is looking awesome so let's work with one more option given by this pack that is just go to our content browser and here we have ms preset 
just go to foliage material and here you have global foliage actor just drag and drop this one so drag and drop and just move this anywhere you want okay and this should be hidden okay i think this fine so let's change the light direction so that we can see the changes what we will do okay so here we have bp global foliage actor and if i go down in its detail panel here we have first wind noise so let's increase this and also the wind strength you can see this is so realistic this is moving like actual real life tree are move okay here we have tree speed this is not looking good actually <laughs> okay so one is fine we can change the wind strength if we need more wind okay you can see everything is moving let's decrease the fog density 0 0.05 okay and yes that's cool let's see some more options what we have so i will select this one and if i go down again here we have season strength okay so if i increase its value you can see how this is changing its color okay and again if we go under this brightness you can change the brightness of this leaves so i will keep it default and next we have season saturations so let's increase its value like this much and decrease the season strength like this much now you can see guys this is looking so beautiful okay some yellow and some green kind of leaves in the tree so this pack is really awesome and really really realistic okay you can look at these leaves this is really good so what are you waiting for just go to the marketplace and download this and just do whatever you want create a beautiful scene and just enjoy it so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more Unreal Engine related videos and also I do some filmmaking videos also. So see you again in the next time. Have a nice day.